Command and Conquer Red Alert series has a special place in my heart. They are so cheesy and ridiculous, and yet they are super fun and well-made RTS games. I always preferred Red Alert over the mainline CNC games, because instead of generic sci-fi universe, they had this insane alternate World War II between the Soviet Union and Allies. And they weren't afraid to go over the top with the storyline and cutscenes, making it a unique mix of comedy and RTS game, which no other publishers dare to replicate. So yeah, when Red Alert 3 was announced back in 2008, I was extremely hyped about this game. And now, almost 11 years after its original release, I'm going to take a look at how well it aged technically and gameplay-wise. Well, from a technical standpoint, Red Alert 3 aged more or less fine. It works on the latest version of Windows 10 and supports widescreen resolutions without additional fixes. And in options, you can find a lot of stuff to tweak. Though it looks like UI is not rendered properly at 5K resolution, but it's not a big issue, because not many people own 5K displays to begin with. The only critical problem that I found in Red Alert 3 was a framerate lock. Can you believe it? It escaped at 30 FPS. And you can't fix that, because the entire game logic is tied to the framerate. <sighs> the previous decade was indeed a grim time for PC gaming. Anyway, if you can tolerate such low framerate, then Red Alert 3 can offer you a solid RTS gameplay with three unique factions and well-designed maps. There are three story campaigns for all of the sites in this war, and also online and co-op modes, which are not officially supported anymore, but they should work thanks to community servers and fixes. Each faction has its own distinctive set of units, including navy and air forces, and they are well balanced with each other. It's a fun strategy game with great visuals and an absolutely crazy storyline. Red Alert games take place in an alternate history universe, where Einstein created a time machine and killed Hitler to prevent the Second World War. But without Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union grew in power and attacked the Allied forces. In Red Alert 3, Soviets invented their own time machine and killed Einstein to prevent Allies from getting a technological advantage, but instead they accidentally helped to raise a new powerful enemy, the Japanese Empire of the Rising Sun. The storyline is silly, but in a good way, and live-action cutscenes only making it more awesome. The cast is amazing. It has J.K. Simmons, David Hasselhoff, Tim Curry and many other great actors. Because of their outstanding work, it's a pure joy to watch cinematics in Red Alert 3, and it's one of the main reasons to get this game. You cannot be serious. Come, comrade general. A new world order awaits. Oh shit, I just realized that my accent probably sounds the same. Whoops. <laughs> well, see, authentic experience, comrade. Anyway, if 30 FPS lock is not bothering you much, then Red Alert 3 is still a decent RTS game that you might give a try. Maybe it's not as great as Red Alert 2, but it's not like we got any other alternatives in the past 11 years. Well, there is still hope, considering that we are getting remasters of original CNC games, but that's another story. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, because I might make a proper review on this game once I finish it, or make videos about the other games in CNC franchise.